Hey, Christ Covenant Church, it's Pastor Jason, and my family's on a quick 24-hour getaway, but I uh, wanted to uh, check in and give a sermon preview for uh, this su coming Sunday. I'm looking forward to continuing to walk through John chapter 6, and this week we will be looking at John chapter 6, verse 35 through 51, and we're going to think about uh, one of the sweetest doctrines of our faith, which is the doctrine of assurance and perseverance. The idea that when we are saved by Christ, there is an assurance of our salvation, both from the time that we first believe all the way into eternity. And because salvation belongs to the Lord, there was nothing we could do to convince him to save us in the first place. So there's nothing we can do to convince him to, to let us go or to not allow us to be saved any longer. It is the doctrine of the assurance of our salvation and the doctrine of perseverance that those who truly believe will persevere till the end in faith. And so um, I found this doctrine to be so comforting so many times as I, as I struggle with my own flesh, uh, with flesh versus the spirit. So this week, remember that uh, Jesus has started this discourse with the Jews about uh, the bread from heaven and the Jews desired a political Messiah who was going to free them from Rome. And so they were ready to make Jesus king after he had uh, he had fed the 5,000 men and plus women and children with the bread and the fish. And uh, they're, they're confused because he's saying that this is that's bread that perishes and you should desire eternal life. And so now Jesus is going to say, he's going to answer the question, well, if you don't want political revolution and you want us to believe in you for eternal life, then why aren't more people believing? You've got these few disciples, and yeah, you have a lot of people following you because you're doing all these miracles, but we don't see a lot of people genuinely believing. And so Jesus is going to explain how one comes to belief. The Father has to draw them, but when the Father draws them, he saves them for both now and eternity. And we're going to think through that and we're going to look at it. We're going to see why uh, the Jews are so uh, miffed by Jesus and what he has to say about being the bread of life and uh, see why so many of them didn't believe. But it's going to lead us to this beautiful doctrine of the assurance of our salvation, that there's nothing we could do to be saved and there's nothing we can do to to fall out of God's favor, but that we are his and we are kept by him. And so I'll look forward to uh, seeing you and worshiping with you this Sunday.